Let's kick the tires on this 10K 20 foot car hauler. Hey guys, welcome back to the Virtual Tire Kicker series. It's Leroy with Happy Trailers. Today we're looking at one of the most popular car haulers that we've got, the 10K 20 foot CE model from PJ. All right, the 10K model means that it's on 5,200 pound axles. So just a little extra payload than your standard car hauler would be. Let's start up here and check out what we've got. You're looking at the adjustable coupler. This is a two and five sixteenths ball with the Demco Easy Latch coupler. My favorite auto lock coupler right there. You've got your cold weather wire harness with the seven way RV style plug and this top wind jack. This is a 7,000 pound jack with the drop leg as well. Safety chains with your hooks here. This has got a five inch channel frame. There you are. And it's also got brakes on both axles. You got your break breakaway box here for the battery. Your spare tire mount is right here in the front of the trailer. This is on the passenger side and it's got the little rail here as well, bump rail. All right, coming along to the side, your frame, as you can see, five inch channel frame goes all the way back to your axles. And let's talk a little bit about tie downs. You've got plenty of D-rings along the side here. You've got three pairs of them, two here towards the front and one all the way there in the back. You've also got the stake pockets all along the trailer here in the front and more along the back here as well. There's your D-ring. So definitely lots of tie down options. You've got steel fenders here. These are removable fenders as well. So you've got bolts here on each side. Make it easy to remove the fender if you need to for door clearance or anything else. Fender height here, you're looking at about a nine inch height on the fender. As I mentioned, these are 5,200 pound axles. That gives you a six lug axle there. And uh, these are 225-75 R15. Those are A-ply radial tires. Grease axles, you got the cast iron caps here as well. And as I mentioned, brakes on both axles. You've got spring suspension. Coming around towards the back, you see you've got a two foot dovetail and this has got the diamond plate on the dovetail as well. And you've also got the stabilizer jacks. You can just pull the pin, lock it in place, and adjust as needed. And that gives you that extra frame strength as you're loading up anything heavy. Let me pull out one of the ramps here. You've got slide-in ramps that come right out the back. Okay, as you can see here, these are five foot long slide-in ramps. They're about 13 inches wide. There you are. And they're completely made out of three inch channel, heavy duty ramp. You got the formed hooks here as well. And as you can see, they're adjustable width wise on the trailer, just about anywhere you need to be. So let me back up here a little bit, just show you a bit of a load angle. Pretty easy. Here's your stabilizer jack as it's locked up out of the way. Let's check out the deck height on this trailer as well. With 5,200 pound axles, you've got a 22 inch deck height. This trailer is also equipped with PJ's Apex flooring. I'll drop a link up here as well so you can check it out a little bit more with all the specs, but this is definitely by far my favorite flooring. Uh, it is fade resistant, warp resistant, 30% uh, stronger than, than uh, traditional treated lumber. This stuff is awesome. You gotta try it out. Almost forgot. This trailer is 83 inches wide, exactly in between the fenders. There you are, 83 inches wide. All right, let's check out this VIN sticker and get a little bit more info here. All right, as I mentioned, you've got 5,200 pound axles and this gives it a GVWR here in little bitty letters at 9,899 pounds. Now empty, this trailer weighs about 3,500 pounds. So you've got a remaining payload of right at 6,400 pounds. Thanks for checking out the CE10K car hauler from PJ Trailers with me. Let me know what you think. We'll see you for the next one.